Good morning, all you treasure hunters and bargain lovers. We're here super early this morning, it's still very dark. I want to start today's video off with a question. And that is what is your best ever find whilst you've been out treasure hunting at charity shops and the likes, garage sales, yard sales. What's the best thing that you've found? Whether it be the most profitable or something that you would definitely never sell, you just love. Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, etc, etc. Etc. See ya. Do you got some? What do you mean? You've already got it? Yeah. For me? Oh, dude. You got any more Star Wars on the back? No. What you got on these? Oh, no, I've got 25 each of them. Oh, 40 quid there. I need that. No, you don't. <laughs> I do. I do. I really do. Oh, it's a remake one. Yeah. Still probably very good, but it's 2005. I'll sleep easy. Episode one and power up the force. What are on the scale electric cars? What you got on them? <laughs> what about the individuals? They're eight pounds. Eight pounds. That's good. Is that these? Yeah. yeah. Go crazy, man. Go crazy. Uh, Go uh, crazy. Can I have a look in this tub? Yeah, sure. No. How much is that? Five. Five. Mm-hmm. Look at that. This guy. Go to a bell. To a bell. Take him. I'll, I'll do 20 or 28. I'm going to go for them, I think. Big purchase time. I imagine that's not very good because he's got three of them. <laughs> I bought some slot cars last week that I think are really good, but I haven't listed them yet. Yeah, again, see look on that one. Yeah, Skelex. Well, it's too big like this as well. It's too it's big to bother both. with, isn't it? Yeah. What can we do on all these um, Skelex tricks? Pardon? What can we do on all these Skelex tricks? No more for the five or eight. Five or eight, yeah. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's fifty quid, and you wanted five and two. Do us 50 overall, is that alright? Yeah, go on then. Yeah. Thanks, I might get him that and mail it. Look up that. If mail it out to him. Yeah, it's 130 quid all day, that one. Is it fingers missing? No, it's good fingers missing. Yeah. 130. What is yeah, that? Let's get his cash. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. <sighs> is that lying around? No. Hey? And it, no, I, left, I left that outside. Yeah, I know. I nearly pinched it off myself. <laughs> what are you saying on this then? It's good. Yeah, it's good, it's good, is that one? Let me cut this one. It's clean, is that? Oh, a living shoulder in there. Jesus, that's clean. That is clean, isn't it? That. That's very, very clean. It is, they all are. It's not a reissue one, is it? Nope. It's original. Nope. Certainly not. That's 
very, very clean. What can you do is on those two? 120. 120? Yeah. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Go on, I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There you go, sir. One twenty. Quick visit to car or have a little fly around this way. Let's hope do we battery save. Twenty-one percent battery. That's gotta be decent, isn't it? How much is your How much is your box set, buddy? Ten of that way. Ten of. I'll take a take a risk at ten. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Sucker for a flush. How much is your uh, Crash Bandicoot? 50 pence. 50p. Take him all day. All day long. Love go. it, thanks very much. If I've missed any that are worth it, Cash Bandicoot. Get the chopper. Casino. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Casio, it's a Casino G Shock. That's fantastic. Casino G Shock. It's been the laugh as well. That has warmed my cockles, cheered my spirit. So if you got all that from a charity shop, Star Wars and stuff. Yeah, if you get any more of this stuff, Star Wars stuff, yeah. make sure you save it for us. Can't quite believe you found all this at bloody charity shop. The yeah, it helps. Oh, it <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. these these are ten a penny. The episode yeah. one's like the least brown, the least popular film that was ever yeah, made. Yeah. Power of Force ones might be slightly better. But I bet even the episode one figures. I bet there's one or two of them that are decent. I bet that's decent. Two pack, two pack shaker. Am I really buying episode one? Probably not. Watto. See that one's got two pack as well. Well I can imagine someone putting these in a charity shop actually. <laughs> Episode one. <laughs> Probably where they deserve to be. Should we get some power of the force? Let's get a job lot of power of the force, eh? So. Why not? Can always job lot them. So what, sorry? I thought we might have bought that American one. It's might because of the size of it that people are yeah, not no, bothered. Know. Yeah? Oh, I'm doing it, aren't I? Stop me. Somebody stop me, please. Come on, I'll have I'm not buying that Led Zeppelin. Am I buying the Led Zeppelin book? 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 12, 14, 16, 18, 18. 
1920. There you go then, you talked me into it. You've talked me into it. This I'm taking I'm gonna take the book as well. Yeah. And then there's eleven figures. So it comes out at 32, but you're alright at 30? Yeah. I don't know how you've talked me into that, but <laughs> spent enough money. Enough penny spent. I rest them down. How much is this, please? Three, Three pound. How much? Yeah. Which one were it in? Were it in there? Present for Chief Editor Mark. Three pound in that one. Oh, God. When he went there, the cupboard was bare. <laughs> That's like my purse. Yeah. Two. Two back, love it. Yeah, two pounds in that With 20, 20 yeah. tattoos for you there as well, Mark. You want that, Cheers, my love. Thank you. Crash Bandicoot like? Three pounds. Is it just a t-shirt? Like? A t-shirt and bubble. Like the pop figure as well, I think. How much are your lagers? These two pounds. I'll take those. Thank you. Thanks. How much is that one? That one's five. Oh. You a five foot pair? No? Yeah. Yeah. What about your desperados? How much are those? Those, £3 for both. It's a bit early, isn't it? I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I says, yeah, if you want that money, come and find it, because I don't know where it is, you baloney. You make me want a wretch. Get that wine cracked open. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. What are those things down there? They're pillow covers. Oh, all right. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go. Time for some Thor Parch fun. Can't be bothered detaching the camera to do a segue, Sectron. So I'll just tell you, we're at a new car boat. That was about it. Seven series. So, I bet you sold for that. Four. Eleven. Ten. Eight. You already sold some of these. Quite a lot, yeah. Have you today? Uh, none today. Only yesterday. Oh. They're only a pound each, Sam. They're going like, like hot cakes. Go on then, I'll take them for. Okay. Try them for now. 8th, 9th, and 10th, I think, about there. Oh, this guy's got sci fi. Sci fi and Bond. <laughs> How much is your car? 50p, mate. 50p. Take that for 50p. Are they all 50p, these cars? They are, mate, yeah. I the old box. Uh, could do. How much would the old box be? You reckon? I could for it. <laughs> you can't throw it back at me like that. <laughs> Am I supposed to? I don't, I don't actually know. Take all lot for a tenant. You can have hours of fun cleaning them up. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be worth that, hasn't it? So I don't have to take them home. I got them then. Yeah. There yeah. you go, put them all in the box for the gentleman. Okay. Just tip them in, don't worry about it. You get the box as well. Tub as well? Yeah, nah, mate. That's one. 
Breakfast times. It's just a lottery, isn't it? Yeah. Third and final stop of the day. Otley car boot. Quite a it's a decent queue actually. Decent queue, it's very hit and miss is this place. But yeah, we're looking for more dino whale fake tamagotchis. Shmamagotchis. Looks like it might rain soon. Hmm. Wish me luck. What did you want on that one that you said 20 quid online? Uh, 4.50 for that one. 4.50 on that, what about these? 2 quid each. 2 quid each. So 8.50, I'll take them. Have you got a plastic bag on the page? Hey, up. What have we got here? How much are these watches, buddy? Them, 50p each. 50 pence each? Yeah. Buzz, 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 light year to the rescue. <laughs> How many is it, box? One, two, three, four. Count up. One, two. I think it's five in each. Three. Three. Three, six, nine, twelve. What's after twelve? Fifteen. Fifteen. What's that, seven fifty? I'll take them, bro. Yeah, no worries. Because everything's just getting soaked. It is, including me. Sorry? Including me. Yeah, we all are. Keep trying to buy people's umbrellas off them, but they won't sell them. TV. How much are your McDonald's ties? 10 pence each. Is that all? Bargain. Yeah, that's right. Cool. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven now. Thank you. 2p profit. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Worth standing it rain for. Not really. Lucy <laughs> <laughs> gets it out of my house. Yeah. Cheers. No problem. And we are back inside the treasure trove here at Hidden Treasure Toys. We're going to take a look at all the things we found today. There were some good buys, some bad buys, as there usually is. Some fantastic buys as well. Before we dive into it, if I could ask you very quickly to subscribe to the channel if you've not yet, and give the video a like if you enjoy the content. And if you've not yet, let me know in the comment section what is your best ever find when out treasure hunting. So not everything that I found today was caught on camera because it was very dark when I got there. Picked up this Disney magazine, number one. Obviously, there's probably been many incarnations of Disney magazines and comics, but this is number one from 1983. Donald Duck and some of his nephews on the front. Paid five pounds for it. It was 25 pence back in the day, but paid five pounds for it. Comps, I think I found one in America around 17 pounds. So we'll see how we do with that. Not entirely sure, but a pretty cool thing. This one I don't think was on camera. Our boy Mel had some new stuff with him, but the only thing that I managed to pick out was this copy of Yu Yu, Yu, Yu Hakusho, is that what it's called? Spirit Detective for the Game Boy Advance, still sealed. You know, I like to pick up the sealed stuff from Mel. It's got a little nick on the corner there, so I probably will not send this off for grading, but still seems to have comps around, I think 35, 40 pounds. Paid three pounds for it. If it sells, we'll give Mel a nice tenner. Something like that. We got. Mr. Spock, not Dr. Spock, Mr. Spock. I guess it's like the Mandela effect, but a lot of people call him Dr. Spock. He's not Dr. Spock, never was. He is Mr. Spock. Focus is not working great on this. There we go. I think Mego 1979, 78, 79. 
not actually worth very much at all. Laurel and Hardy, the slapstick film collection, three DVD set, still sealed. Got this in fact to actually watch with my grandmother. I've not even bothered to look up any comps because we're gonna watch that and we'll have a nice laugh. I hope. Yeah. Bash Candy Coot kind of thing. Bash Candy Coot. <laughs> I know that's not his real name. Crash Bandicoot plush. I think I paid 50 pence for that. I think they sell around 20 pounds, 25 maybe. Oh my God. And sticking on Crash Bandicoot, got this Icons Nightlight. I think I found a Pennywise one. Very similar Pennywise one at one point on one of the previous videos that I gave to Mosh Geller. I'm not sure on the comps on that one. I think 10 pounds plus though. And I actually bought that at the same time as something else. Something else that I can't locate right now, but it's, it's in the pile somewhere. Really, really solid find. I was a bit bummed about not getting to the Star Wars display set in time, but that turned out to be from 2005 and not worth a great deal anyway. But in that same stall, I didn't want to tread on his toes, so I said, are you bothered about the scale electric? Ended up buying a whole bunch. So I think we've got three of this one. Whole bunch, I think 10 scale electric in total. Nine of which look to be never used. We've got uh, SO Mini Metro, the BP Metro times three. Dream car of mine when I was a kid, Jaguar XJ220. I think that's got comps of around 40. They all seem to range between sort of 25 up to as much as I think I might have listed the Jaguar at 60 pounds actually. GQ F1 car, two more BP metros and the fact that there's three of those makes me think that they're probably all old stock because why would you buy it three times? I don't think they've been used before. Uh, with lights, so I think this is slightly later than the other ones. I think this might be 90s, well into the 90s. With lights, Porsche, it just says Porsche. What is that? 944. I'm not very good with Porsches. I almost got a little bit of crumpling on the packaging. Dagenham Motors Ford Mondeo, stock car type, touring car type thing. Uh, this one has been used, but not very much. It's a Matchbox SCX Audi 90 Yakko, sponsored by Yakko. That has really solid comps, 30 pounds upwards, and I paid five pounds each for them. This one, much more vintage. Um, the spoiler has come undone. So I need to look at maybe fixing the spoiler back on. But that's a Lotus sponsored by John Player Cigarettes. And I know that they're quite a popular brand of cigarettes. <laughs> if you enjoy buying cigarette memorabilia and sports car memorabilia. You stupid idiot! Uh, appeals to two different demographics, that one. League of Legends Project Z, two of those, I think for four pounds each. Oh, but that was from the family that I got the, oh, I need to tell you about that, yeah. I bought sort of a fake Tamagotchi, Shmamagotchi, bought two of them, and one of them sold on bids for £113, so I'm giving them a little bit of extra money, and I'm going to give them some more extra money the next time I see them. I got those from them this week. <laughs> Along with that, Light Seekers, I think comps of around 25 on that one. The League of Legends has really mixed comps. I think one sold in America for as much as £65 or something like uh, but then I think one's was for sale around £12, so bit of a mixed bag that one. Got this at the same time as the Cash Bandicoot Nightlight thingy. Avengers Endgame t-shirt and Funko Pop combo, still sealed, size medium t-shirt. Comps, again, very mixed bag, some around 20, 25, some as low as 10 and 12, so I'm not sure what I'll do with that one. He took him to a magic cloud where Mother Nature gave him special powers. That bear became Super Ted. Super Ted DVD, no intention of selling it. If I did, probably around 12, 18 pounds, but definitely gonna give it a watch first for the old trip down memory lane, the old punch in the nostalgia bone. Definitely give that one a watch. Got this from the same chap as the Scale Electric. I actually ended up buying a whole bunch of things from him. I think I spent over 200 pounds with him in the end. Uh, he sort of forced this one onto me. Led Zeppelin, then as it was at Nebworth 1979, said it was signed by Led Zeppelin, but then when I looked at it properly, it's actually signed by the author of the book. But it does have comps, I think around 30 pounds. So I hope the 30 pound comps are not signed by Led Zeppelin, because this one definitely isn't. Also from the family with the Shmamagotchi and the other stuff, Cheap Cheap family at Otley, picked up these Halloween glasses. I don't think they're as vintage as they appear at first, but I've seen them floating around on their stall for a while and I finally gave in and decided to buy those. It says try me. I want to know if it actually still works. 
Oh, does. Spooky flashing eyes and ghosty sound. Cool. Also from the Skeletric Chap, I got this and I love this because I think I had this when I was a kid. If not this exact one, then one very, very similar that I used to play with in the bath and at the seaside. Swimming Frogman, still boxed, never used by Play Art. Prime Line, it's really, really, very cool. I think I've got that up at £50, which is, I think, I think that's pretty much my uh, I don't really want to sell it sort of price. Almost certainly want to keep hold of that. Also, Scale Electric Trap, got a dinky from him, this smaller dinky. Jones Fleetmaster Cantilever Crane 970, listed that for I think £80. That's some good comps. It's really, really clean condition, so sort of going high end as I, as I tend to do, to be honest. And another big purchase from him was this dinky 983, and I think that the trailer is 984, but it's sort of a gift set. Vintage dinky, about Meccano, I think probably 60s, 70s. Very, very clean again. There's some rust in, some pitting on the paintwork and a few chips here and there, but really, really nice. I think I paid, I paid 130, I think, for that dinky and this dinky. And this dinky alone I've priced up and listed for something like 275. It's a really nice thing. No, no rush to sell it, can sit for as long as it wants. It's, it's not a, a, a ugly thing to look at. It's a nice thing to look at. Men, 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 many men, men, men. Men, <laughs> two and a half men seasons one to eight box set still sealed all the charlie sheen episodes apparently yeah i've watched the program but not very much if i'm honest paid 10 pounds for that i think it seems to have comps i think on bids it did nearly 40 pounds sealed i think i might have listed it at 55 something like that could be a good thing <laughs> charlie sheen it's got tiger blood did you know charlie sheen has got tiger blood Rawr. Charlie Sheen, Charlie Sheen Bones made of compressed methamphetamine I'm not an actor, bitch I'm a drug I got five children in tiger blood <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Mac Lethal Got some books for my sci-fi collection Courtesy of Meat Feast Shout out Joe B Probably never read them There's an Asimov one in there, look Foundation and Empire Probably never get around to reading them But they are cool They're very cool things The Space Born Oh, that one sounds really good as well. Anne McCaffrey, Dinosaur Planet. Possibly inspired by uh, Ray Bradbury. Hmm, I might actually read that one. <laughs> From the Cheapy Cheap family at Otley. We've got Pudgy Piglet. They've had these on the stall for ages. I've looked at them many a times, but this one looks particularly clean. I think he sold me it for 50 pence. So, pff, I think comps of about 20, somewhere around there. It's pretty cool. Old animated, animatronic, battery operated plush teddy that sort of you know like the dogs that, that jump about and but this is a, a this is a, a pig not a dog but yeah that little pig that'll do and now we're moving towards the probably shouldn't have bothered not necessarily bad purchases but just not great purchases got a whole bunch of well these are super cool actually got a whole bunch of uh, mcdonald's pokemon toys that i probably won't bother selling i'll probably just put them on display when i find space growlith there eevee and a squirtle tornadoes and some pokeballs that eject they eject discs but one of them's missing a disc so. I don't even want to look in this box if I'm honest, but I bought a whole bunch of really beat up, really dirty die cast for uh, £10. Yeah. It's really smelly actually that. That's quite smelly. I probably will look some of them up one rainy day when I'm bored beyond belief. It was a... It was a Bond, there's a James Bond one in there, the underwater lotus one. I don't want to get my hands there, but yeah. Yeah, the, the James Bond one sold it to me because I think I've had that before and sold it for around 20, 25 pound maybe. I don't know, even if I just lock them up, I'd definitely get more than 10 pounds. You do it to yourself, you do. I can't remember who sung that song, but <laughs> glutton for punishment. <laughs> I ummed an ad and ended up buying a whole load of Star Wars. Only two pounds each though, so you can't really complain, but at the same time, there's not massive profits in them once fees and postage are paid. I'll probably lock them up. And interestingly, the guy told me he bought most of these, or sourced most of these from a charity shop, which is very cool. But that kind of thing's still turning up. Got Hammerhead. Han Solo in Endor gear. Luke on Hoth. 
Rebel Hoth Soldier. Han on Hoth, which is in a tri logo with red background, which I think can be quite a good thing. I'm not entirely sure, but some some figures on that card can be quite sought after. It's a rarer card colour. Shmi. <laughs> Shmi Skywalker, Anakin's Chief Tormentor. I even bought some episode one. Watto, R2D2. And these ones, these ones are pretty cool. These ones with the bonus battle droid seem to do okay. Some characters seem to do okay when they come with the bonus battle droid. So I don't know. We'll probably just lock them up, to be totally honest. Another bad buy Giles comic strip annuals. Yeah, really shouldn't have bought those. Even though they were just a pound each. So again, they probably, if I lock them up, there probably is a slight profit in them, but the guy even told me that someone had already been through that box. It looked like somebody had, at some point, had a full collection of all the Giles books. But yeah, so someone had already been through them. So it was obvious that they'd already taken out the valuable ones, which were sort of issue one and two seemed to be valuable. One, two, three. These are, I think eight, nine, 10, 11, something like that. They were the earliest ones I could find. But yeah, probably shouldn't have bothered. Nice little gift for Chief Editor Mark. Story collection, Hero Origins. Um, four origin stories, Genesis stories. Captain America, X-Men, Thor, and Spider-Man. He said to me the night before the car boot, find me something nice. So I'll find him some reading material. And the very last item, which was almost certainly bought off camera early on. Now you listen here. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Is this the Bible story? Magazines from the 60s. Looks like you collected them each month. Looks like issue one might be missing its cover. But yeah, it looks like you collected them each month and put them in this binder. 1964, number three there. Number four, number five. Hopefully it's a complete collection. I saw a complete collection listed for, I think 350 pounds, but nothing on sold comps. So I might just put it on auction, starting low. See what it does. Paid five pounds for it anyway. Just a punt. It was just the icebreaker, the first purchase of the day. So there we go. Right, guys, that is going to be that. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching this video. You know I appreciate the support. You know I do. If you could give us a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it yourself, leave a little comment in the comment section. Say what you enjoyed, and again, say what is your best find ever whilst out treasure hunting. And yeah, that's going to be it. Make sure you subscribe and maybe watch one of these other videos over here but yeah until next time guys stay safe happy hunting live large etc etc that lump on my eye got big again oh my goodness